You know, since I purchased the sports dress, there's been a few things that I've learned since I posted some of my first videos, and a few of those things I wanted to discuss and pass along with you right now. One of those things is there is an entire Sportster community out there. And I'm just not talking about the Sportster S. People who genuinely love the motorcycle, they love their Sportsters, love riding them. And I've been able to interact and discuss with those people as well. Also, the sportiness of the bike is a nice change. When I'm not in the mood to ride my street glide, when I'm not in the mood to do a lot of touring, this bike is the perfect one to take around town, to go back and forth to work, to that type of thing. Short distances, for the most part, is an exceptionally good bike for that. While the Revolution Max engine obviously doesn't sound like a normal Harley Davidson, the bike does sound good to me. So far I have very much enjoyed the 121 horsepower and 94 foot-pounds of torque. The bike is extremely fast when it's in sport mode and you really need to be careful and disciplined while you ride it in that mode. For most of my daily riding I keep the bike in road mode and switch to sport when I need to dip into that power. The display is easy to read and visible, even in extreme sunlight, and the controls on the handlebars are simple enough that after a few rides, you can commit that to muscle memory. I have also found that most of the modifications that I have made to the motorcycle have been easy to install and keep the aesthetic and design that I am looking for. One of the questions that I get a lot is what's the seating position like when you're on the Sports Duress? And I have to say, while you are kind of leaned over a little bit in that, in that uh, sporty type of position for a motorcycle, it's actually very, very comfortable. Now, when I first did my very first demo ride on a Sports Duress, as soon as I sat on the bike, the very first thing that I thought of was this is not going to be comfortable. I am not going to enjoy this. And while it did take me a moment or two to get used to it, by the end of that demo ride, I was extremely comfortable and having a great time I'm on the motorcycle. Now I am not a tall person. I am 5'9 and even with the forward controls this is much more comfortable to me than mid controls. I was able to ride a Sportster S that had the uh, mid control conversion kit installed and I got to be honest with you I just didn't like it all that much and I was much more comfortable with the forwards on this bike. It uh, just seems like it's a, a more comfortable riding position. My feet don't feel like they're tucked in behind me and all in all I I like it a lot better for my frame. The maneuverability of this bike is something that you really just need to experience for yourself. Even at slow speeds, the bike just turns and moves so effortlessly. Out on the road, it takes the turns and hugs the corners well. And whenever I need to scoot it around in the garage, it really is a piece of cake to get out of my way. Well, I have to say, so far I'm exceedingly happy with the Sportster S and it's really met all of my expectations at this point. If you've not had the opportunity to demo ride a Sportster S, I'd encourage you to do so. I hope you have found this review helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely is going to help the channel and maybe you could consider subscribing. I hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon.